hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on unfortunate love the Asaga gives a good and impactful speech before his oath ceremony. Lakshmi tells she has to tell him something. He calls her on stage. She asks Rishi to go and do his work. Lakshmi speaks well about the Asaga. Badru thinks Lakshmi is impressive. Lakshmi asks the people to promise they will also support the Asaga. The Asaga is also impressed with her remarkable speech. Rishi reaches Badru. Lakshmi removes the Bluetooth and takes the Asaga aside for a talk. Rishi thinks to blast Badru. Lashmi asks Dayasaga not to react and just listen. Tells the terrorist made her plant a bomb. He is shocked. Rishi fights Badru. Lashmi throws the bag and asks Dayasaga not to react. She tells that they have to leave and reach some safe place. Nilam prays for Rishi's safety. Karishma finds her praying and asks her the matter. Nilam tells she has come to pray for Rishi that he has gone with Lakshmi. Kaishma asks her not to worry so much. Nilam adds that she feels restless and wishes her son gets back home. She goes to Viranda and asks if he spoke to anyone. He says no. She tells she's worried for Rishi and wants to go to the military's office and get Rishi home. Viranda asks the reason for her worry. He tells her Lakshmi and Rishi are together. Aish asks why they are tense. Kaishma says that Rishi has gone to the ministry. Aish says Lakshmi called Shalo to get an ID card. So Shalo has also gone there. He wants to call Shalo and find out. He gets her number off. Nilam gets much worried. Rishi bashes Badru. Badru asks why he's beating him and wonders who he is. Rishi tells him he felt Badru is a terrorist. Badru asks if he would get beaten up if he was a terrorist. The guard says Badru isn't going inside but he came with the minister. He asks Rishi who he is. Rishi introduces himself. Lakshmi asks the Asaga if he knows his safe place. He tells that he can't live until he saves the people. She knows it and tells she will save everyone. The terrorists come there. God stop them. Badru asks his men to put the gun down. Rishi tells Badru is a terrorist's boss. Rishi and the security guards fight the terrorists. The people hear a gunshot and run in panic. Lakshmi wishes Rishi succeeds in getting the remote. Rishi catches Badru at gunpoint point and asks him to give him the remote. He tells, that inspector, tells inspector that Badru is a terrorist's boss and he has a remote to the bomb. Badru gives the remote. Rishi asks the people not to panic. Badru pushes Rishi and threatens the people. Rishi smashes the remote. He asks the inspector to arrest Badru. Lakshmi asks Dayasaga to think of some way to go out. He tells them about a tunnel that would take them to the exit. She asks them to leave because he needs a safe place. Badru stamps his foot and tells him he activated the bomb. The real remote was in his foot and now the bomb will explode in half an hour. Badru drops the smoke bomb. Rishi and the people get affected by the smoke. Badru bashes Rishi. Secretary checks the bag and finds the bomb activated and gets worried. Shallow thinks of fooling the terrorist and tells she has fallen in love with him. He asks if she is joking because he, she was fighting with him till now. She tells it's love at first sight, that she truly loves him but he will be killing her soon. The Asanga thanks Lakshmi for saving his life. She asks why the terrorist targets him. He tells he has no idea. She tells that a rich businessman has hired Badru for killing Dayasaga and reveals that Badru has bought the entire security, security system. Dayasaga tells he knows a famous businessman who is very corrupt that he would not spare the culprit. Gets the secretary's call and tells Lakshmi that the bomb is activated. She asks about Rishi. Secretary tells he has no idea about Rishi. Vikran speaks to his mom. She asks him to leave work and take Lakshmi for shopping. He asks her not to worry and assures them he would end her tension. Nilam tells they would go to the ministry's office. Vikram, Viranda asks daddy to stay back. Vikram's mom calls Karishma and asks about Lakshmi. Asks if Vikram and Lakshmi can go out for shopping. Karishma tells Lakshmi has come for office work. Vikram's mom is glad to know Lakshmi's capaci capabilities. She asks when Lakshmi would come back. Karishma replies she would come back in some time and tells Nilam that Vikram wants to take Lakshmi for shopping. Vikrant's mom tells him that Lakshmi can handle off his work also and she has gone to the ministry right now. He praises Lakshmi and calls her the best. She tells her her son will always be the best for her and asks him to call Lakshmi when she gets free. Lakshmi gets afraid for Rishi and tells Rishi might have gotten caught. The Asaga asks her not to think negatively because wrong doesn't happen with good people. Daddy tells she wants to go along with Nilam and Virenda. Karishma asks her to relax. Ahana gets bad news and tells them about the ter terrorist attack at the ministry office. 
She tells her Lakshmi's life has fallen in danger. Rihanna and Daddy are shocked and worried for Lakshmi. Ayush checks the news. Malishka comes in and informs about Rishi going to the ministry. Karishma tells they can't double Rishi's problem by going there. Nilam tells she can't leave Rishi alone. Rihanna tells the police will make everything okay. Ayush tells he can't sit at home when Rishi and Lakshmi are in trouble. He leaves. Nilam tells Rishi is in trouble because of unlucky Lakshmi. Daddy asks Nilam if Rishi called the terrorists there. Ahana tells they have sent Lakshmi there. Rihanna and Daddy tell they are unlucky for Lakshmi. Nilam shouts Lakshmi is inauspicious for Rishi. Badri tells everything would get over in half an hour and asks his men to find their saga and tries to find out about their saga. Nilam and Rihanna also accompany Ayush to the ministry office. Lakshmi devises a plan and tells them that they have to shut the CCTV cameras. Secretary tells it's not possible and asks them to just cover up the CCTV camera. She asks the media to support their saga, who is a true politician. Their saga gets impressed by her and calls her brave and smart. Lashmi tells Padre will try to find him. Padre contacts their saga and threatens him and tells nobody can catch him. Asks their saga to get the evidence and come to him to the conference room. Tells he has Rishi captive with her, him, and even Shalu is with him. He threatens about killing them and asks their saga not to act smart tries to strike a deal. The terrorists get scared of getting caught. They eat the poison pills so that the police don't catch them. The saga tells Lakshmi that he didn't know about the corrupt businessman going to do this going to do this this level. She asks him to tell about the proof. He asks her not to interfere in this matter.